Hello everyone. Welcome to our live. So tonight we are having one screen live. Welcome to our live. Just all the way up. Let me show you what you are in for today. So I am inspired by Cherub. So that is a team that I go with today. Uh, this is gonna be a few last team for our Valentine season. Uh, so we're gonna have one tonight. I post it tomorrow. And then on Thursday, I have two more. Hi, yeah. now, Alec. Welcome, mm -hmm. welcome. Hi, everyone. Okay, let me stop sharing and then turn the screen around. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, impressed nails. Hello, hello. Tonight we are doing stupid. Yes. Cupid. And good morning for Australia. And good summer. Yes. Don't forget they got the nice weather down there. I know. Oh, it's been snowing nonstop, you guys. It's been horrible up here. I wouldn't say horrible. It it looked horrible for other people that have to go to work in it, but we just uh in the house looking out. So it's all beautiful, but for the people that go work in it, ooh, it's cold. It's cold. Hello, Tanya. All right, so let me go on to messengers and find the picture that we are inspired by. Where is the messenger? We got about three inches. Three whole inches. Okay. No. We're going to be inspired by this. 29 degrees in Australia, that's not a very good summer. 29 degrees? Yeah. That's kind of cold. Yeah. Is it supposed to be like that? Is it normal? I think so. Alright, that's a cupid. So, oh. we're going to start with an American French background first. American French background? Uh -huh. And you said something about golden earlier. Yes, of course I'm gonna make it go. All go gilded. Oh 75 right now. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh it's so cold. Oh I feel so sorry for you. Hennessy. Oh 75 degree. How can you handle that? It's gotta be 80. 80 gotta be the best. But 75 is a little chilly. <laughs> a tad bit chilly. Ain't just no text said thank you for sharing her ratchet nails from five years ago. Oh, you're welcome. No, not you're welcome. It was oh. an accident. I didn't know how to undo it. Oh. I oh, was oh. be honest with her. Yeah, they were ratchet. Jeez. Gosh, I didn't so know. So it was an accidental save. Just a little pink, but mostly tan. She said ratchet nails, but she won a competition with him. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were pretty good. And I guess all we can say is we don't know what happened to her. You know, she, she seemed like she was headed down the right path. And now today. Kill this. Just one tin coat. Not much. Oh! Duh! I'm an idiot. What happened? It's in a... It's in degrees, not Fahrenheit. Oh! So it's like 60 there. Oh like my big God. It's big difference. <laughs> like, oh my. Oh. Here, here, here I Great. Go. Being a stupid. Think everything's the same everywhere. No, they tricked you. They, they tricked you. They didn't say the, 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 the F or the C. They tricked you. They did, they did. It's yeah. 29 out there. She right. did that shit on purpose. Yeah, she did. Tanya. She tricked you. Gosh. Man. Hmm. No, I love that because now I'll never, I'll never make that mistake again. 
Because I even thought to myself, man, if it's 29 in the summer, what the hell is the winter like? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be hot. Well, of course, it's hot. I don't know if that's so bad. Mm -hmm. There's like a 120 in Arizona, right? All right, so I am going to use milk. You have to have milk for American mm -hmm. French. I'm going to use milk top coat. And I am going to paint the first half the nails in milk. Look at that, how light and elegant it become. Mm. I love this American French. Let me go get uh, the ombre brush. How beautiful it's already, just one coat. And you just lightly ombre it, very easy to ombre American French. Here. Just like that with all nails, just half of the tips with milk <clears throat> top coat. You can go two coats, or you can do just one. Hmm. Is milk like white? Mm-hmm. The one is a top coat. So it's like skim milk, can I see? <laughs> this one, this one is uh, it's able to adhere chrome the way it does. Hear this? Skin milk. <laughs> A white top coat, question mark? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Tanya says she doesn't like not being able to see you. Oh, I'm sad too, but that's a new format from now on. Uh, we're going to make it work. Um, maybe it's for the best, actually. Maybe you guys can focus more on the lesson. We don't know why, we just know it is. Yeah, why I don't like is the audience, the number of <coughs> audience, we have to depend on the small pay. So I feel bad for the people that couldn't make it. Um, no, the people that doesn't know that we're here. But eventually they, they will. Eventually they know, know where to find us at uh, votino.shop. Oh, let, let me go ahead and post on my website too. And we had two questions. Okay. Uh, What's the top coat do against chrome? Hold on, give me a second. Kyla. Okay, so I'm posting on my website. It's at www.tinovo.shop. And then I'm posting Kyla information. Her phone number is 417-772-4020. So you can call her for any kind of um, shopping question that you have or shipping question that you have. You can you can text her. Um, what is the question again? The top coat? Uh, oh boy. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, how, what's the top goat coat do against chrome? Oh, you cannot hear it with it. And then what, what is a American French tip exactly? American French tip is up white. Hear this. If you didn't answer the chrome question, you might want to ask, ask it again. Yeah, up white is like a, like an almost like a natural white. Um, that's what on trend lately is a, a donut glaze. A uh, American celebrity um, have its, I forgot her name is, but basically she make it um, really popular again. It used to be popular and then it's kind of forgotten for a while, and now it's popular again. American French uh, donut glaze style. Donut, like that's really classy look that people are after. I'm gonna give it two coats. We are doing Cupid, Cupid. golden, mm -hmm. Cupid. golden Cupid, golden glaze Cupid. So first, we're gonna make an American French background, and then second, we are going to donut glaze it with white chrome. Uh huh. Kill this. So, bow up this technique. It can be a fast money making scheme. 
for your client. One is American French. American French are easy. You don't have to um, use a sponge like a actual white ombre. A white ombre, you have to use sponge because you need opacity. American French, you don't need to. You can, don't need to use sponge with it. You can just brush it on. And since it's semi-transparent, it's very easy to brush it out. Here's this. Is it Haley Beaver? Haley Beaver, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that girl, Haley Beaver. And hello, Jen. Is she is she and Justin Beaver are related? Probably, probably. Haley Beaver, Beaver like an animal, like Beaver. Abs- no, Beaver. I oh, know. Beaver. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. that's Justin Beaver last name. Absolutely. Maybe they. They, they have to be related then. They have to be related. Yeah. Hear this. Oh, they married, doesn't? Oh, that's his wife. Oh, that that, that oh, girl, that awesome. girl with big boobs. Yeah, that girl. You know, look at me just jumping. You know, I'm just gonna shut up the rest of the night. Yeah. Obviously, this is a bad night for me to even think. I never know her name, but it's like a Brazilian bombshell. I I I notice it because she, here today, uh, so like Selena Gomez, and then bam. Not anymore now. He with this girl. She's so much prettier than Selena Gomez. <laughs> Selena Gomez grown evil. Like an evil villain. Evil. <laughs> she grown evil throughout the years. Now she look evil as fuck. Oh, no. Every time she on social media, she looks so evil. But that girl, that Hailey Bieber, she's so pretty. She's like a princess. Like a princess. Yeah. But I know why. I know why he choose her. I know why. That is two big reasons right there. Smacking your face. You don't think she drinks blood to stay beautiful, do you? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Anyway. Seems like a blood drinker. See how how beautiful and quick it is? Now you have an American French. Look how classy it's made my fingers. Cute this. I love it when my fingers look classy. Like, that's that's what you give people when they come in and they ask for fake nail and they'll be like, but can you give me a natural look, please? It's never makes sense to me, but I guess this is a nail that you will give to them. Just in case they ask, I want it to be natural, then you give, and you give them the American French style. That's how they can become natural. Oh, this is the pot even thickens. It's one of the Baldwin's kids. (gasps) She not just a Cinderella? Oh, no, that's Jen's whole dynamic. I I thought she, I thought she's Cinderella. I thought she should get lucky. Right. I thought he just picked her for her beauty. Now, now she doesn't have to be good at whatever she does. Now, now she just uh, it's complicated. Now she has money and everything. Ooh, girl, girl, this is crazy. Ooh. Anyway, besides that, I don't know anything else about it. Blend it in. Blend it in. Mm. Right, just like this. See how easy it is to blend it in? Crazy easy. I don't even like blend it all the way. I just touch it a little bit and it becomes perfect. How crazy it is, Kia. <laughs> I don't know why. If 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 I move this over here, would that mm-hmm. be better? I mean, it'd be better for me. Would it be better for you? Oh yes, yes. And now we have I all the cozy family. Yeah, here. we, we have all the space that we can. We've been doing this a long time ago. Now I'm so like relaxed now that yes, I don't have to pose all the time. Oh, I know. <gasps> She's tapping over here. Help. You X out and then you go okay. back in. <gasps> Okay, here. All right, now we have four nails that are completely um, polished over. Let me see. If I want, I can chrome it right now, but you see it's not one perfect even coat. It has stroke mark because it, I just paint half the nude and they fade it. So my chrome, it can... um. It can be, it can have mark on it. So just to be more perfect, I will have to take chrome base to apply chrome all over it. Let me search for chrome.
from there. So, whenever I need chrome, I use this. <coughs> See, it's chrome base coat. It's a very soft top coat. <coughs> what colors did you use? I use tan nude. I'm mixing it with a little pink nude. So this is why I use tan nude. I'm mixing just a little bit in the palette. So I have like a tan colors, but just a little blush in it. That's how I like it. You can mix it however you like. To depend on your design. And mine going to be gold gilded. Or probably bronzy, which you have to see. But that's why I choose this type of background. So it's more cohesive with the design. Just a thin coat. You don't need much. Pinky hair. hair what do you mean what has happened with something changed? Now I'm going to make sure it's all perfect. Okay, here. Oh, how come no double screen? Um, Because we found that Tino can do better nails when he's naked. But we can't do it unless Ooh. we did an OnlyFans page. Ooh. So for the double screen naked nail tech, you get you have to go to his new um um foxy lady. Oh no, I mean new new the fox. New new the fox nail naked nail tech uh, at OnlyFans.com. <laughs> now uh, it's been uh, glitchy and you can't see as clear. So we're gonna run with this for a minute and then and then one day it might find its way back to us. It's pushing us towards TikTok, we believe. Yes. And making us gonna grow beyond this, because once we start doing that, then we ourselves will become more technical savvy. We still need Instagram though, because TikTok will be a different format. It's not gonna be individual lesson, it's gonna be funner faster. Funner faster. I have a little dust right here that I'm trying to get out. Make sure there's no dust. No dust? Mm mm. I don't want any dust at all. So probably we'll do a variety pack of these things at some point. You know, we're always going to change it up because that's kind of the life we live. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me make sure that just... Okay. Oh, they need your TikTok name. My TikTok name is Votino. Just like my Instagram, Vo.Tino. Vo.Tino. Yeah, here it is. TikTok is more product place um, because I cannot save the lie. Well, Nora or someone tell me that you can save it. So I don't know. If you can save it, then it's going to be different. But we cannot save it. It's going to be different either way. It's going to be fun either way. What tips are those? This is my tip. This is um, coffin nails. I only sell one kind of length. It's XXXL. This is an XXXL coffin, and then I have stiletto. I have two kind of tip. If you go to www.tinovo.shop, you can Jim's find... Jim's already got you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Yeah, it's in the essential category. Mm. Essential. All right, now I am going to donut places. So... For this, I need to find my white chrome. This is a chrome that I'm going to use, moonlight chrome. Do you have to wipe the nude before applying the chrome? No, no, you don't have to because my nude doesn't have the oil residue. You see, some polish, it have the oil residue where you put a top coat on and you, within like a millisecond, there are kind of little hole all over this. It, so in that case, you have to wipe it because it have little irritating oil residue. Mine doesn't have it, so you don't need to wipe with mine. But just depend on the polish you're using. All right, now I am going to take out a shadow applicator. And 
I am going to use this white chrome Ooh. to don't replace it. It's a white chrome that I'm using. I haven't seen that yet. You haven't seen that yet? No. The night you were in this stuff, you were really in tune, so I chose to try not to bother you, but every 20 minutes. Oh. And when I'm in that mode, I don't pay too much attention to what you're doing. Just the fastest way I can bother you less. I use this Sam Chrome for my unicorn set. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I use it over uh, pigments. So I do this so I can teach you two separate lessons. One is American French. The other one is donut glaze. Are you going to make a chrome bundle? Chrome bundle, um, yeah, later I'm gonna make chrome bundles. Yeah, that's my plan. But we do get distracted. That's my plan, is to make the special, special effect kit. Well, and then sometimes we have the bright idea, and then Cindy will be like, you haven't thought of this, and then we're like, yeah, you're right. And yeah. What we do know for sure is, this is going to be one shiny-ass cupid. It's already very angelic looking. It really is. I love, love this chrome. Um, Before my love, was for unicorn chrome, which I still enjoy very much, but unicorn chrome have color, you see. So, certain color is my favorite, like coral, my favorite. So I play with different tone and different base. This chrome is totally something new, something else. It did not have have a base or a, 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 a tone. It just pearlizes everything that it touch. It, it gives it this frosty, Chrome look. That's why I don't call it white chrome because it's technically not white. But if I have to put a color on it, that's why I would say it's white chrome. It's like in wedding season, especially in June, this is super popular. Wedding season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of my favorite backgrounds is a donut clay. I have some tapple with it. Um, in Christmas, when it's uh, become popular in about Christmas or so. Oh, um, I think sometime uh, last year, I haven't dappled with it because I haven't found an appropriate team for it. But today, the Android Jared team, it totally kind of go very well together. Slid on in there. Mm -hmm. So basically, they don't get to see products until you figure it into a design. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, That's how shiny it is. Between me claws slid in here <gasps> so try not to say anything that will get her started oh yes my god she probably just done her business right well she's just talking about her internet was acting up oh yeah right right which means they've been having they've done touched everything up into the rooms and she's done knocked her modem off the computer desk a few times right i do have this vision of what's happened down there you know i'm trying to picture it i'm trying to imagine it Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Can we have you good now? For sure. Okay, now. Do you need to have a tacky layer? Um, not sticky. I hope that's not what you meant. I think she means ugly tacky. No, you have to uh, apply over no wipe. There are two kind of no wipe. There is hot gel and there is soft gel, soak up gel. Uh, by now, a lot of uh, hot gel also soak up too. But they give you two different kind of surface. This is a soft surface. It's bouncy. It's perfect for chrome. See how shiny my chrome is? See, honey, this is the kind so of... So that's why I use chrome base. Uh, it did not have sticky residue. So no sticky. Mm -hmm. The white, uh, the surface is totally different than the hot gel. But it did not have the sticky residue. Because sticky residue is for pigment, it's not for chrome. Chrome doesn't like stick anything that's sticky, tacky. It it make it very shimmery. It doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. 
I make sure that I dust it well, even the dust on my gloves. I shall make sure it's long gone. Actually, long it'd, be, gone. it'd be wiser to dust everything around it, because I don't want anything floating. What about blowing? No, no. Give it a blow? No, no blow, no blow. I have problems with my chrome base looking bumpy. Oh! Lumpy. Oh, yes. And then, and then fault, fault with how did you cure the chrome base? Okay, uh, chrome base is 60 seconds and make sure that everything is shiny. If it's bumpy, it is totally your fault. 100%. You have to make sure foundation is nice and smooth. Polish is nice and smooth. Everything is nice and smooth. Because chrome doesn't, it's not forgiving. Chrome is, is not forgiving you. At all. At all. Matter of fact, chrome ruined my... Two second belief that I thought I could do nails. For yeah, a second. Chrome destroyed us and dream as a nail tech. My dream. My Chrome dream. don't forgive you. Whatever imperfection you have, it will show right away. Yeah. Chrome, the, yeah. I it it will not forgive you. You have to be very careful on the smoothness. Okay, so I'm going to throw another coat because I want to buffer it. Because I'm about. Actually, you know what? What? Um, I'm about to paint some cherub. Cherubs. I don't need to buffer it because I have shown you guys that a surface is chrome free when it's buff, but another kind of surface that are chrome free is a chrome surface itself. Because if it's already have chrome, if it's already taken, it will not take any more chrome, right? Oh, correct. That <laughs> like if sense. I put gold chrome on it, it will not take because it's like we already have white chrome. We don't want any gold chrome. So this is a chrome-free surface. I can paint directly on this. Of course, I have to be careful because I'm not careful, then, I have, then I'm in trouble. Then I have to wipe it. So again, if you want to be safe, then still apply another coat here and then buff it. If you want to be safe. But uh, I'm feeling risky. I'm feeling risky. So I am going to paint a cherub. And I am going to take, um, let's see, our gels, I am going to mix a brown. I'm over here just cheesing at the fact that where I know this could be going. Okay, every time I touch this thing, it does that. It does what? That. We will think about it later. It's Siri. I got it. Feel up, right? It's what I need. No, it's there. It's good. I'm using a lot of art gel. A lot of art gel. Well, actually, I'm designing a lot, too. But I believe that... Oh, no, actually, this is just my first. <clears throat> Down the mouth said nothing like a little Tino Go live after work. Now I'm gonna mix it to get this. Just like this. Happily. So see it's like a dark brown. <coughs> I am going to go ahead and add some throw in some white. Or art gel too. I you art gel because I can put chrome on this. Some white right here. <coughs> So this is like a light nude. Gosh, you weren't even following yourself. I know, right? Brutal. My, that's like my my small page, I tell it. Is it like, okay if I follow you, honey? No. <laughs> like, you have to make it on your own. You cannot have help, big brother. You have to make it on your own. Should I follow you? <laughs> okay, now I am going to draw a cupid. A, a cherub. So, I'm 
Oh, that's where. I wonder if we had lost Karen because we had the technical difficulty, and then I thought I thought we had been shunned. Shunned. Okay, this is a chess. I'm gonna draw it right in the meadows. So I am going to draw a chest first. Chest. Yeah. Going down. A pretty thick distance. This is gonna be the wing right here. Now. I am give it a curve. So this one is a curve. This is a belly of the cherub. Beautiful. One curve. Okay, so this is a chest right here. This is a belly. So the leg is gonna be right here. See, I can already see it. So this is a leg of the cherub. Now remember the leg not too long because it's just a baby. So it's not, don't give it a long leg. Give it about right here, and then you draw on the lower legs. So you're saying just give it a baby leg? Give it a baby leg, a short leg, short chubby leg, like this. See, that is leg. Now, so the length of this leg is equal to the whole length of the body, like that. So here is some feet by going, pointing out, curving out, and then give it a little heel right here. And that's it. And a baby heel. A baby heel. So now... This is a leg on the other side, so you follow the curve of the body. See how it's curved all the way on this side. Okay, this is the upper leg. So now I'm gonna draw the lower leg. So again, go straight out here, go out a little bit. So the part in the middle is smaller and it's curving out. And then straight down, give it a little heel, and then it's toe pointing out, just like this. Now, even though the hand gonna be here, which is the same color, I'm still gonna draw the hand, just so I, I know. This is the upper arm, and then this is a lower arm, just like that. There's a lot of chair, so I'm just gonna pick up from here. This is the arm from the other side. I know, right? Didn't you just make that look so simple? I'm just over here enthralled. See that? And now I'm gonna draw its little head. It's good. Uh -huh. Just a circle, okay? A circle. Now, give it some hair. We are drawing golden cupid. Golden cupid. Okay. Now, wing. I'm using another color. Not like it's not gonna make a difference, but uh, I'm using another color for wing. So finish the hair down here. <clears throat> it's a hair that is half. And so they love this. They're excited, by the way. Okay. Now. I am using white art gel. I'm drawing into. I haven't cured yet. You're drawing into. I'm gonna draw into to to the colors. So white art gel. I am going to start from here and draw the little tiny wings, and then, okay, so down here gonna be big, and then when it go up here, it's getting smaller. So it's like a triangle. Okay. This one side triangle, this two sides of triangle, and the top curve. Okay, that's the wing of the angel. Big and then great explanation. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now, now you're taking a a little um engraving. This is an engraver that I have, the engraver and mixer. You take in a little bit of that and you s draw in circular motion. Just like circle it so you can see some texture of the wing okay now I'm gonna take some black art gels oh actually it could be white 
first and then black later. Actually, black now. Uh, yes, cherubs. Slash Cupid slash Cherry Cupid. Cupid. Let me see. Yeah, so two chair up gonna be right here. Okay, so now I am taking black art shell and drawing a little bowl for it. Bow or bowl? Bow. Like like okay. the one that you oh, shoot. Bow and arrow. Yeah, the one you shoot your enemy. Your enemy? I mean the the victim that the chair. Not the story that's supposed to be shooting for love or something, but not killing them. That's what you do when they don't cooperate and Okay, so I'm gonna draw a little bow and then time to kill. Because after I'm kill, I'm using the dark brown to detail the cubit. Let's pop another one over here. Now, I already explained for you how it work. You have to have a chest, and then it's curved, and then now there is a leg. See that short, little stuffy leg. Ain't just now tech gonna run and get something neat. This has been a big film, horrible all day. Oh. It's the weather, I'm telling you, it's the weather. It's the horrible weather. Hello, Candy Coated. Hi, Candy Coated. I know what she missed. Everything. Everything. Everything, honey. Everything. Well, except for that one thing. But that's, we, we're not going to show anyone that, so everyone's going to miss that too, so. She must have. Just got enough work. This hair of the cupid. See how easy it is to draw a cupid in a split second? You really made it look easy. So I will explain, but no worry, no worry, my darling. No worry, don't freak out. That's what I do for my client. I make them freak out. I will go over it in a marker in a piece of paper. Don't worry. You know, I, I really want to say, you know, when she said, did I miss much? I want to say no. But then when you kind of look at it, it looks like a lot. But really, it's not. It's not. It's just a little swill. Okay, this one is definitely a male. It has bigger feet. Bigger feet. I accidentally give it bigger feet, so it's definitely a male cupid. So you're saying the male, the, only the females have tiny, petite feet? Well, it'd be funny if it's the other way around. Who's that one on the, this female have big feet? We call it Helga. I really thought all the cherubs were male. You know what? I actually have no idea. <laughs> they just children. They 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 just children. Do you? I erase it right here because I don't want the feet to be too big. Cute. Actually, I, I think I'm in a little trouble. It's okay. No, this is what's great about one screen, honey. You just do this big sneezy cough thing. You go off thing. No, I can handle it. Opportunity. Aston, Aston, Aston. The 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 white chrome is is, is um the moonlight chrome is very good. You can withstand Aston. Thank goodness. Well, then why'd you tell us that we were panicking? Because I didn't know that it can withstand Aston, but it obviously can kill this. Oh, okay, okay. All right, now, what else was I? 
before the great panic. Oh, the great panic. Um, I supposed to chrome this with gold, so I'm getting the gold out. I'm thinking bronze. Ooh. I like this. Color. What what color do you think? That's it. You think bronze or gold? I think bronze. You know, it's a little folly and. I gotta see it next to that other chrome nail to make this. Okay, Mmm, I like that one. You like this one? Yeah. I like that. Worst one. case scenario, you can mix them. Yeah. That might. I really like this color, bronze. I'm going with bronze. So, can we. Oh, everybody else feels bronzy too. Good, good, good. Now, this is the first layers. Okay. You're gonna come in with uh, more design. To create textures. So you see your first layer of nails. Now you're gonna take this color, the darker color that you just made, and you're gonna give it some dimension. So some dimension. let's say I want to draw a leg right here. I want it to be very distinct. See that? I'm giving it different little part right here, like the hand, like, like a kind, like a detailed contrast, like, like a yeah, like a doll. I'm giving it little muscle here and there. So you weren't happy with your splotchy cupid. Now you want your cupid to look like a specific cherub. Yes. Okay, hair. Give it some hair. Is it easy to see this? Absolutely. It's fun. It's beautiful. See that? I give it some hair. I have some strand of hair right here, right here. Okay. Down to here. It's face. Don't get detail. Mm. No, no, no face detail? No. I say an eye right here, an eye right here, a nose down, and then some creepy little mouth. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can get it if you want to be my guest, but I'm not. Some wing right here. Okay. This is the color where you make definition, and then you have a choice to emboss it with 3D jelly if you wish. Oh. Mm -hmm. But if you're not wish, that's, this would be fine right here. And when you say wish, it really is how much more time you feel like spending with the person you're doing it on. Exactly. Right. Because if you're doing it just on a yeah. free nail like that, you're going to go till it's perfect. I'm going to give him a little shoulders. Shoulders? Too. Yeah, a little attitude. A little attitude. Yeah. Not yet. Something like, okay. Maybe back here too. Okay, now here. Wait, a little bit right here. Okay, here. I have just decided myself that from here on out, I'm going to always consider cherubs. Unisex. Unisex. Yeah. Okay. Because that's what they are. They um children that die at birth, they become angels. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. That's why my aunt told me that children that die at birth like infant, they instantly become angels. So the rest of us burn? <laughs> uh the rest of the children. Or you just don't have to play the game until you're old. Well they become sin. human and then that's when they decide <laughs> when they become human. <laughs> But little infant is not human yet. It's still a little baby. It's unisex. <coughs> unisex. No, we're gonna go back. <coughs> oh, Karen, that's what we do. Whenever we're cold, we bait in all the animals. I think that's why we have so many. Karen's baiting her animal. I love it. <coughs> For baby in with a heating pad. We got full size heaters. Gotta love my dog. I'm gonna give it a little hair. See a little hair around the head? They're listening. Just like that. It's so easy to do, you guys. How do I move the 
comments can't see anything. Help, help her. Uh, will will somebody some, help her, please? Yeah, I know there's something they do. Somebody help her. We don't know our own help. Somebody show her the way. The way. I wish that I was smart in computer, you guy. Man. But man. Me too. My geek friend. He have stolen that power from me. Actually, I wish you would quit saying that, you know, because you're our, you're our computer yeah. guy. So, I mean, like, whatever you say your level's at, I'm like 20 times less than. You know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe that's bad that I don't know anything and it makes you slack on it. Maybe I know, I right? If you computer genius, you would be even better at it. Yeah. Kill this. I mean, after all, look how great you are at art. Right. You know? Oh, I could, I could become a hacker. A hacker? So I don't have to do good. Oh, I don't have to do good now anymore. You know, I can just hack people. Just hack them. Yes, and, and conquer the world. Honey, the only, only I can hack the bank and stole millions of dollars. <laughs> and... And live in an island like a spy. Right like a sexy spy. Sexy spy. Maybe the only hacking we're going to do with a machete or a meat cleaver, okay? I just don't see us. We struggle with passwords sometimes. I want to be a sexy spy. We struggle with updates that are automatic. I want to do something mischievous. Mischievous? Yeah, that are so bad they have to like handcuff me. Ooh, but nothing serious. That make me have to do hot time. So no serious hacking? No. So we need to go to a mediocre hacking school. I just only want them to spank me, not put me in prison. Just spank me a you little bit. You want to go to a country where spankings? Yeah, just like spank me a little yeah. bit and let me go. Be like, here, your lesson, just a warning, and spank me a little bit, and then just let me go. Oh, no. So I can go commit more crime. So you can do more crime for more spankings. Oh my god, no. Little baby right here too. Little eye. I forgot his eye. Little no in the mouth. Don't be too detailed. Because it's all gonna be go chrome, so it that's really no point in trying to be details because look it's gonna be chromey anyway. Chromey. <laughs> now I am gonna use 3D Charlie. To add more texture into this uh, angel. Make it plumper? Yeah. He did kind of draw it fast because he was talking and bullshitting. And he does that whenever we start chit-chatting. That's my, my fault for, for, for... 3D jelly. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to... Disrupt in the process. Paint it right here. Give him a play-by-play, -play, baby. Uh, oh, yes. It's just a legs. I'm going to add some jelly in it just to make the leg more plumpy. Plumpy. Back here, just a little, not much. And then the arm, too. We do one texture in the arm. Don't need much for the wing, really. Just the arm and the hair. And then we're good. <clears throat> Why did we ombre in the beginning if it was all white chrome? It's a two different lesson. The lesson number one, you learn about American French. Then now, you learn about place donuts. So you get two different lessons. You can choose to do whichever you like. Oh, it's choices. Choices. Yeah, it's leaving you choices. You can pick up wherever you like. Plus... You look in it through the camera, if you look in it from real life, that is a, also is a different too. It's more beige up here, and then down here it's more pearly. It's more uh, satin. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Satin pearly. Remember, I teach by step. You can pick up any step, and you can remove any step. It's a layer design. That's what's wonderful about layer design is that you don't have to complete all the layers for it to be pretty, Kia. 
can pick up anywhere. You really anywhere. You really don't. You don't you don't need to pick up everything like me to be pretty. Because if you pick up everything like me, then you have to charge more, of course. Be at least two, three hundred dollars set. Look at how look at how greedy that angel is is becoming you guys. You can take your freedom away with the treaty jelly. It can be however you like. Maybe I do need some on the wing just to make it even more embossed because I really love the embossed look. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's using 3D jelly. Well, okay, Coda, I think she just kicked in with some good shit. Yeah, this is a 3D jelly that I use. Look at how big and voluminous it. Now, I don't use a gel to make it voluminous because you know the rule about gel. If you put too much, it will give it like a like a frozen lake effect. Where the top key and the bottom doesn't kill, but 3D jelly, oh, you can go to town with 3D jelly. You can make anything with 3D jelly. So I want it super embossed with 3D jelly. Super, super embossed. Want it to be very voluminous. Look at the legs, it's beautiful. It does look nice and, and voluminous. Just how I want it. It speaks quality. Mm-hmm. It's like a real piece of gold stuck on that. Yeah, chrome right over 3D Charlie. 3D Charlie is built for chrome. Chrome right over it. So. Oh, I just had a great idea. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do this because this finger and this finger I want it to be shiny. I want matte up here and I want the angel itself to be shiny. So I am going to take matte and go ahead and cover all of this and we might be able to find we might find out that it looked really pretty with matte too. We might find out that the pearl looked really pretty with matte. So I am going to stroke over this to protect everything, including the angel himself. Over all, all, all over the surface. Give me a second. Mm-hmm. Is the screen still good, doesn't it? Uh-huh. See, all over it. I kind of want to touch it right now. Yeah. So people probably want to touch your nails. Let me go ahead and put this on chrome too. Look how beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, honey. Gosh, I gotta I gotta I gotta keep Look at that shine, you guys. That's crazy amazing. Okay now, Matt. Honey, the anxious note text already back. Make sure you dust it. Going to eat. She couldn't handle it with Tino. I mean, she just whooped that shit down. No wonder she <gasps> chew her food. No wonder she don't feel good. She she don't want to miss Tino. No, never chew, chew. She doesn't want to miss Tino. I got to find out country she We're never going there. She's going to get you. Mm. This is full-fledged stock material. Ooh, I love it. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love stockers. I love, I love stocker. Since I was a little boy, I want, I want to be stuck. It's natural. I love stockers. Cute this. We well, really want to touch. Dustin that. was my stockers. Hello. Yeah, he was. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! What's going on, you guys? What's going on? Ooh. Oh. Right. Talking about beauty, let's go over here boy. and fire a little bit. Boy, oh Kinda boy, like that. this is Man. beautiful. Yeah. Oh, what have we discovered? You see, you learn something new every day, aren't you? You learn something new every day. I learn something new every day because I, I know that it's going to be different. But you see, most people will be like, oh, it's so sh- beautiful when it's chrome. I don't want the shine to go away, you know what I mean? But... As a nail, nail artist, I have always explored more options, and I know that I know the moment this chrome is matte, it's either it's either I can return the shine or I can have a big surprise. 
And oh my God, you guys, it is so pretty. Oh, I like it. I love the matte white chrome. It looked like lovely. I just picked it up from the ocean. Hello, I mermaid. Is, oh my God, you, can you imagine the mermaid design that I'm going to do? This have to be TikTok. This is going to be some... This is like TikTok material. You know, I'm going to do things like this. I, I, think feel that, like, I feel like first you just palace and then bam, went to the same house. Yeah. Just, it's beautiful. It's yeah. like all... Oh, Renaissance, pearly. Oh, I'm gonna shine the angel, of course. The angel, I'm not gonna let stay mad. It's lickable. But the background, the background, oh, the background gonna be mad. Oh my lord. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Hallelujah. This is beautiful. Let's check out the shiny angel. So, um, shiny, just shiny. you a little bit of crystal sailors right here. Just because I don't want to dump out top coat and then you on brush, so I'm just using crystal sealers. Shine any detail you wish to shine. In my case, it'd be all the gold detail right here. Oh my lord, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, to the general detail first. Leave the feet and the toe for later. No, the light's not off. And they miss seeing your beautiful face, honey. Aww. Mm. Huh? You should have to catch me at intro. Oh. Kill this. Last kill this. Oh. I'm gonna go back. How much do you think you charge or something like that? For an angel like this? Oh, you guys. Ooh. I say about 20 bucks per angel. Hello, Amy. I got 20 bucks per angel. I'm just showing you guys, but I can do an angel really fast. I love, I love silhouette because silhouette. You don't need quick details. Easy. Quick and easy. Silhouette is easy. quick and easy. You see that? That's an angel. So, do you think the white chrome will match the same way without the ombre background? Yes. Like, let's say, if you don't do the ombre background, if you do a tan background, then it's going to look like this. And if you do a milky background, then it's going to look like this. So there is a very uh, subtle change in background. And I say, if you don't have enough time, then you can just whip one coat, like one coat of tan, and then a wood moonlight chrome on it, still very beautiful. Or it will give you like a, a chrome nude color, which is stunning. Or you can use a moonlight, uh, the um, milky background, like a um, milk top coat, Instead of tan new, you can put your milk top coat on. And here, then you will get a pearlized colors. Like color of the pearl. Either way, I love them both. I love them both. But uh, I, I do that show. I can show you two separate lessons. One is uh, American French. American French is about $20 extra for the service. Or more, if you can charge 30 extra dollar for a service, American friend, it's highly desirable and super classy. Have been always and still have been. Uh, Julie Beaver, is that her name? Julie Beaver, bring it Beaver. back. Beaver, no, wait. Julie Be Justin, uh, Justin girlfriend, Justin wife, ugh. Uh, Dustin, oh no, I mean Justin, Justin Beaver wife. Julie Somebody Beaver, brother, yeah, uh, she bring yeah. it back to life. She, she, since the day she wear it, it become more popular again. But um, and then the the the, the moonlight chrome too. So just however you want to uh, execute the moonlight chrome or the uh, uh, American French ombre is up to you. Ooh, this one gonna stay shiny. This one gonna stay shiny. Um, cloud gonna be down here. <sighs> Which, I mean, 
I I should have. You know what? I'm gonna do cloud up here, because if I have do cloud on here, then I have to matte it. But you see, I already matte everything and then put a shine on here. So if I matte it again, it'd be very difficult for me to matte it because I have to avoid the shine. I'm not gonna do that. So no cloud on here for the angel. No um, probably some twinkles or some some moon made out pixie gel to make it happy. But no cloud for the angel. Um, probably uh, yeah, something to compensate it. But for now, let's go ahead and take this and draw a heart. Okay, because uh, this is gonna be a main piece of the design is a heart. So. I have myself some white art gels. Now, I just showed you earlier, but now I'm going to show you again. The background that are chrome free is a background with top coat, top coat and you buff it. That make it chrome free. But another background that are chrome free are this. It's already have chrome on it, so don't take any more chrome. So I have moonlight chrome on here. So this background is done with chrome. It's not... It don't take any more chrome. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting a white art gel on. This is a little too thick, but it's okay. You'll make it work. No, I'm I'm go back over it later. Okay, is it big enough? Good. It's very big. Make the angel tiny. Mm-hmm. Good, 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 good. good. And, and Tino thanks you for all the compliments that he didn't get a chance to read. Yes, thank you, thank you. Ooh, there are the are compliments. Ooh, is it like? And, and then there is there any crazy there was, compliments? Oh, and answer Amy's. Nothing crazy. Oh, I want something Just, crazy, know. like ooh, or, I don't know, something crazy. Mm -hmm. It's fine, it's fine. But but then Amy wanted to know why we was only doing one camera. Yeah. And that's because Tino has had a facelift and. Oh my he god, now, it's, it's hideous. Yeah, his yes. whole face is wrapped up like a mummy. And um, it's been fine if it was Halloween right now. But so the doctor said it's going to be what, nine, nine months until you can get the baby. Oh, yes. Removed. Oh, and, um, I'm hideous now. But he'll look better next year. And at that point, feel comfortable enough to let you see his face again. Yes. Um, we did take some pictures though. Yeah, Once in a while, we'll flash it. Picture of how cute he used to look before pre pre plastic surgery, and so the heart I just painted using white. So now uh, later on I'm gonna come back with black and make like a baroque pattern of heart. Baroque pattern. A baroque heart pattern. Hi, Chicky. Hello, hello, Chicky Bling. Oh, Jiggy said lace is romantic. No, Ooh, lace is, is kinky. It is. I've never seen lace in the... We got your number, Jiggy. We got your numbers. That's right, huh? We, we got Jiggy numbers. Mm -hmm. Oh! I can take some white. And I can draw like moon or star. And then I can put like... um Oh, uh, I forgot. Oh, unicorn glitz. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to bronze it. I'm I'm really liking this color, not just not for far, but I mean bronze just a classic color in general. Since fashion right now have a lot of nude and all that, I love the the bronze. Bronze, bronze. Mm. You know what I just thought about? What's that? Bowie. Ooh. Mm. Calamari. Oh, that sounds really mm, good. No, that no. sounds really, really oh, good. Goodness. Maybe we should go after this. What time is it? Seven eleven. All right, and that concludes tonight. Wait, today's Monday, right? Yeah. Disregard, we're back in. They're close today. Remember? Oh yes. Are they? They are. They are. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Your fate. So, for the pattern, I use Baroque Stroke. So, Baroque Stroke is when I apply it really thick, and then I just lift my brush, so it's become thin again. That is a Baroque Stroke. And I use my Baroque Stroke throughout this entire heart. See, I just slap it really thick, 
and then I slowly lift my brush up and make it thin again. And that'll conclude tonight's show. <laughs> ah! Ah! So it's open. Black gold tipped heart, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. let me throw in some little, little wiggle, wiggle here, wait, wait, wiggle wait. that. Okay. Wait, let me see. Let me see how make it open. Indeed, you can Close be very sloppy. Nine. You can be very sloppy if you want, mm. because it doesn't matter. It's gonna be gold chrome anyway. So you're gonna love this design because you don't have to be careful. Even the cherub. You don't have to be careful. You just need a common silhouette, common shape. Common shape. Yeah. You will love this design. Look, it's very sloppy. Hear this? At long, at, it go chrome like this. See, it's chrome design. Clever chrome layering. Clever? Clever. Chrome. Clever because I barely draw. I don't really draw. I just dab and I just tap and, and splotch and then... For some reason, it's become cupid. Just like magic. Now, for the heart, I'm gonna use my friend, Stank Last Chow, number 14, the Old Faithful Red. Old Faithful Red. Yeah. I've never heard it called Old Faithful Red ever. This is Old Faithful I've heard Red. So many varieties. It's different than. And never than, once was it. Yeah. In the direction of See, food. I have different kind of red. This is a home record red. I call this a home record red. But uh this one is an old faithful red. See how faithful it is. It's deep and marinated. Did, did you hello Marlene? Did you draw the cherub? No, he just kinda of sloshed them on there. Similar, yeah. So. When you rewatch it, you will love you will love the way that I draw the cherub because it is so easy. Not a lot of detail involved at all. Oh, and he says, she's like, you're so beautiful and forever 21. No, uh, Amy, it was glitchy and you could barely see the detail to the work. So we went with one camera for, for a while. Right. Hello, Howie Nails. But because Tino and I. No, I'm not done with this yet. I'm not using the red yet. I know you guys couldn't wait for me to use the red, but I'm not using red yet because I'm not done with this frame. I want more. I want crazy. So I am going to take 3D jelly and go to town. I need a flask here, by the way. A flask here. Give me a flask here. I have to now use a flask here because I don't want my 3D jelly to ruin into each other. Um, When my tech clear texture effect arrive which is in a week game gonna be a little different then I'm gonna use that for this step but until then I just have to flash it in between which is kind of a little annoying so I can wait for my clear texture effect because then I don't have to flash here then I can just go all the way because it doesn't uh, um, it's, doesn't sell level like this this cell level is great for um, it's great for encapsulation but for detail like this, I wish that my uh, clear texture effect were here with me. But it's okay. It's okay. I can I can work a little harder by just keep flash here and this. But boy, do I have clear texture effect. Then I no longer have to do that. Poor you in the struggle. You just look like you're struggling. Probably the only thing to bring back is no, I'm I'm just trying to make a point to them. Oh. So later on, when they see how easy it is, they, oh. no, later on there's no such thing like, you know, when I'm you take your effect, there'll be no one dropping in and be like, oh, but why don't you use GD jelly instead? Then, oh. then I will be like, well, and then I'll, I'll, no, you won't even have to say nothing. All your girls will get on there and be like, right. bah, 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 bah. yeah, just hopefully because because then I'm still gonna explain, but they're gonna be a sight like, oh, how dare you? You were not here last week because I explained for you the struggle, so now I have to explain for you the struggle again. <laughs> really, I have to keep flashing it, but at that point, I'm not using 3D jelly anymore, so I'm not gonna show her the struggle. So I just explaining the struggle, but now you see the struggle. I keep flashing it. 
So then you will understand. So I'm just, you know, making a point so people will understand the struggle. When will clear texture be on your site? In a week. In a week. Are you going to go out to that Korean barbecue? Well, oh, they asked that. Oh, how tough. That is so tough for you guys. They oh, said it closes at nine. They, oh, that is so tough for They say, there and, they know, say, don't I, do now any more Tino. Go eat Korean barbecue. Is yeah, that what they say? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to wait for my pretty jelly. Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wait for it. And I want you to notice a little bit. Um. Oh no, I love it. She said, okay. stop it. So many people would think they were going to believe me about, you know, the face uh, lift. But then she said she could see his face through the mirror chrome pigment. Oh my God. <laughs> They're all checking. Okay, now. We love you. <laughs> now, you notice that this area, this background is already chrome. So not likely that it's going to take chrome again. However, up here, I just make a little boo-boo. See up here? I make a little boo-boo with 3D jelly. So I have to be careful of not rubbing chrome on that area because then it will take chrome. Because it's a new, different surface. Right, because okay. it's, it's have some gel on it and it's clear, so it will take chrome. So i going to be careful when I'm up here. But look how beautiful it is. And I, the detail, I swear, the detail is so ugly. But the... When you crumb it, look at oh my God, beautiful. I will pay anything for this. I pay any kind of money for this. So it's like, boom, going good, calamari, what? And then it just kind of threw you off a little bit, didn't it? Now, you need some Old Faithful Red, as I say, some Old Faithful Red. Old Faithful Red. Because you're going to take this and going to paint it on to see how, 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 how it can be... More beautiful. Okay. Oh, they said you sound like you need to drink some coconut water. Oh wow. Okay. That just turned into wait, wait, wait. Un a fairy tale. Un unexpected. Unexpected? Unexpected uh complication. The the heart is jacket. Because it's super detailed around it. So, what I did is I used too much stained glass gel. So now, what happened is, because what I've done is use really thin amount of stained glass gel to avoid flooding this detail around me. And oh. then go over it with another coat, but I didn't. I dived right in because I didn't expect it, this complication. So, well, I was it's, not, it's not that bad. So what I do is I call in for help from my filler brush. To absorb? My filler brush right here is very dry. I'm gonna keep it very dry. And I go ahead and just dry wipe it. Dry wipe it. So you're absorbing like a sponge. Right. But incidentally, can we talk about how beautifully shiny that shit is and how it turned into a fairy tale carriage whenever you painted that right Yeah. There? I mean, like, instantly. I'm going to be a little tricky with this little circus-like. Like, bam, Cinderella. Okay, now I am going to replace this with some red. But very gentle because it's just flashed here. So, cure this. Mm -hmm. But, oh my God, that's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it, too. Cloud on here, of course. So with cloud, I go with white. Um, white art gels. And I am going to take the 10 millimeter brush and I'm going to paint a little cloud on here. So one little circle, two little circle. Jamie says these are going to be viral. I hope so. Everybody loved my video I posted this morning. Everybody loved it. I'm gonna post Ren in Paris tomorrow. I hope Rain people love it. Ren in Paris. Oh, that one's just stunning. Yeah, you think yeah. so? Hell yeah. But sometimes it's too artistic. No, this is this is. 
I don't think so. Because this is yeah. something that you don't know about. Every so often I come in here and, I, and I'm attracted to certain nail sets. Yeah. And I just pull them out and I really look at the detail. And it seems like those are usually the ones that go extra viral. Now, I don't know if it's your oh, artwork or, I'm excited then. Yeah. You guys. It's just like, damn. How did, you know, because here's my deal. There's been several times during our relationship where I've stopped and said, God damn, can this get any better? I mean, like right now, you're, you know. Yeah, so I always get that. Is. I know. Somehow. Some way. It's, just, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I don't even understand. I'm like a vampire. I, mean, I, 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 I. I I, I, I recycle myself over time. I'm like a vampire. Well, I, I mean, it's almost like this. It's almost like if I look at how great you were at the beginning, I thought, and then where you are now, mm -hmm. you actually sucked back then. Right. Which means you're really right now a shitty nail artist. I'm growing like a plant. Growing. So just everybody know that right like now. Like a raisin this in the is sun. A shitty Tino. Wait 10 years from now. Right. Yeah, like a plant. Like a plant. So my feel of press because it's dry. See how how it's a little poofy when it's dry. Perfect for cloud, you guys. Oh, I'm telling you, perfect for cloud. Um, sometimes when my feel of press give out on me, and I buy a new one, I keep the old one. I keep the old one for thing like this because the old one, I don't care if it's brittle, I don't care if it's dry and poofy, I don't care. So I keep the old one for this for thing like this. Oh my God, it's beautiful. <clears throat> Blemish that with white art gel. Kia, heavenly. Well, no, so it's very angelic and majestic. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> My aunt said the pair said that she did went viral. Ooh, really? Oh, you. Ooh, that's awesome. Oh my God, you guys, you made me excited. Mm -hmm. I hope that mine go viral. <laughs> Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I'll be a good boy. I will be a good boy until Why? until the, the next day. You gotta have some promise for Santa, for Santa to make it happen. Mm, I'm so excited. How do you store your brushes when you're done? When I'm done, I have a little gel on it, and then I just, I just kind of wipe it. You can put some top coat on it too. Just for the element to make sure it keep your brush gnarly in shape so it's not poofy. You know what I mean? It's not dry and poofy. And that's how you condition your brush. The next time you take it out, that's when you can clean it if you want. Kill this. And then I find also what helps preserve them a lot longer is I move them above where the dogs can reach. And if you want to be more perfect, you can have some milk top coat. Some more milk top coat out. Is that a little red in the cloud? Uh, no. Maybe. <clears throat> Clean it with what? Acetone. Uh, acetone, alcohol, low. But right before you get ready to use. Right. You can even use a little brush cleaner that I sell you, you know, in the cute little bottles. You can buy the little brush cleaners. So you can feel better. Now, you spread the milk out, okay? You spread it out. It's perfect that way. Now, I'm very brush because I want it to be more perfect. More Even more perfect. perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm very brush, a dry one. I'm just going to drag it out like this. Uh, Jamie wants to know, because she keeps forgetting, um, the order of the white chrome wood pearl like Aurora work. Oh, uh, mm, pearl like Aurora. Yeah. Like the Aurora gel. I think she's got some of that she's trying to, he's not, it's not looking good, Jamie. It's, it's not, it's not looking. It, 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 it will have the same effect, but it will be shimmery. Shimmery. It have the same effect, but it would be shimmery. Which maybe I which which would be a different look. Yeah, just would a different be a different look. look. Mm -hmm. You know. You you just go ahead and match that. That would look pretty too. But you gotta 
you gotta get the moonlight. Every time you use the moonlight, it's hot. We are already like almost halfway to our inventory on moonlight effect already. Moonlight effect is a way, the way, the way. The way. Get this? But lucky for you, that's not necessary. Like, like, like certain gel, you know, like the gel that I'm using to chrome this or the texture gel. If you don't have it, you screw. You cannot replace it. The, the moonlight effect, that's the choice. It's just a choice. You can have different choice, but I'm telling you, this choice is an elegant choice. I love this color joy and I would not deny that what makes the sex beauty is the colors. What did you put on the nails with the cherubs? Is it just matte top coat? Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's all I did. And I'm using the moonlight effect. And then I using the matte to matte it. Oh my god, so beautiful you guys. Oh my god, oh my god. I love it. Yeah, I said the moonlight chrome goes on like butter. Oh, oh. <laughs> you make me excited. You make me so. I definitely my new favorite children. Don't tell the others. But um, moonlight effect is my new favorite children. Look at them. Oh my gosh. All I need to do is some light pink opal, and I'm in business. Um. I need to. I need to take a picture. A quick picture. It's gonna be not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna be attractive because I I don't I'm not gonna have a lot of opal stone, right. but I'm gonna take a picture just to have it so I can tell Cindy to pose a uh, pink opal because I think a lot of people are gonna like the pink opal, the pink opal crystal. Oh. I tell Cindy last week I like do you have pink opal? She like yes. I like why don't you? I never ever seen it. So she she sent me. Let me show you. Cause you got like nine million different rhinestones. I was like, you never sent it to me. Everybody have pink opal, but Tino doesn't have pink opal. So now Tino have pink opal. <laughs> so this is a pink opal. Oh my god, you guys! I have to have it on right away. A lot of people <laughs> loving it. A lot of people gonna love it. I already know. We'll pull that cap off it. Let's look at it. And. It's not Dreamtime Crystal. I think that it's Preciosa, I hope. Because if it's Preciosa, it's going to be a little cheaper than uh, Dreamtime Crystal too. So, I'm going to use a uh, Pacific Pink Opal today. Mm. Did you say... What did you say? I said Pacific Pink okay. Opal. Is that too fancy? No, I thought... Your kind? I, I heard it differently. Oh. I said Pussy Pink. Oh. I was like, damn. <laughs> How do you um, know what it looks like? It's really my only concern. Okay, so I am going to take. Oh, let me see how should I execute this. Okay, okay, Matt, Matt, first. This is how I'm gonna do it. This I have to be careful with this. How how I layer this? Okay, I'm gonna take matted and I'm gonna cover the whole thing with matted first. Always make me feel a little safer. Safer. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to match through the whole thing. And remember to brush very carefully when you brush over texture because you don't want to flood it with, with, with top coat at all. Mm -hmm. Especially with matte, you want to, to remove some on the creak and crevices of the nails. You don't want to remove extra top coat that have been stagnant on here. Do the bottom too. I might just do it on matte. I'm thinking because I like the color anyway. I have to. I have to see about this. Here. This is funny. This is even my man is learning from Tino. He just asked if that was homework or red. <laughs> no, this is a uh, old faithful red. This is old faithful. Unfortunately, it's, this. I mean, you can tell. Stuff. You can tell that it's not home record red. I mean, obviously, obviously, it's not home record red. You can tell when it's home record. I mean, you can tell when it's when it's home wrecking. You can tell. You can judge it by its vibrancy. It's like a peacock. It's it's bright it's like a and teasing. <laughs> yes. When when will this be loaded? The the, the, the home record. No, the live. Oh, to, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so this, I'm just gonna give it some shine. Huge. 
No, I'm gonna wait for it. I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Okay, I have to, a decision to make. A decision to make? Mm -hmm. Can we make it as a family? Can we do it together? Because I do love this color a lot. Don't get me wrong. I love this color to death. But, but I'm afraid that I have to match everything. I'm sorry, Pearl. I'm because sorry, Pearl. It. Because it's, it's the best. It's for the good cause. You won't feel right. You'll have a twitch. Wait, no, what let, you're no let, let me find the right way to say it. Okay. You know how they end the word and they always say this. Uh, it's for the best. It's, um, it's for the greater good. For the greater good. Yes, because of the team. We have to sacrifice our team. We cannot kill this. We cannot be allured by a certain beauty that we we we, we are personally feel like stray away from the team. Because the team I, I'm thinking this is the best for the team. Because that will leave the cubic and the golden heart I'm gonna do shiny. So for the theme and the greater good. It's for the greater we're good. We're gonna make a small sacrifice. Correct. <laughs> it's for the greater good and for the good cause so now we're gonna make this shiny so that will make this special but this is a learning lesson for me because now I know how beautiful the chrome the moonlight chrome when it is when it's shiny so I'm gonna use it for another design of mine so this design the uh, moonlight chrome have tend to be all matte Still very beautiful. See, I, I have to learn not to be greedy. Because if I'm, if I'm greedy, I will keep the others uh, shiny chrome because I'm like, well, I want both. No, mm. I ha it have to be for the best. What are you putting over the heart right now? Right now, just a uh, crystal sealers. It's a uh, sandwich shined it. The ingredient in it is sandwich shined it. You can refill it after you're done with the crystal sealer. Okay, now... I am going to open this. This is beautiful. Ooh. Oh my lord. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The red, I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to leave it directly like that. It looked like velvet because it was chrome and now it's matte. It's beautiful that way too. Everything is beautiful. Now I throw in some opal. I, uh, I will try to put it on soon for you. Oh, this is a good question. Applying so many layers between the color chrome design, matte and shiny, it won't come off until. Oh, it will be even better for it. Right. Mm -hmm. The more coat, the better for it. Should be able to Very backhand somebody and uh -huh. break, cut glass like that. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Oh, and they all loved it. And uh, I think Goldendale said it looked like uh, antique. Uh... Today, I would use um, 3D jelly. To a bedazzle. Um, so why not blue? Well, uh, the reason is uh, the reason is I'm gonna work with beads, so I'm not gonna use with blue. Beads. Yeah. Where is the? Where the work? The little beads? wheel. The little beads. Oh, right. Okay. I need rose gold. I'm not feeling rose gold might be the way to go. I do too. Good. You think so? Pull that bronze right in. Bronzy, it. yeah. So I'm using rose gold and pink opal. And pink opal. That to me is a perfect combination. They said, oh, Kino, please take another drink. You sound very thirsty. Oh, they do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the best glue for gems? No, no, very because it's too simple. too simple. What's the best what for gems? Glue. Now glue. Now glue, crystal magic glue. You can find it on the essential uh, category. Oh. 
is the Nell Ferry grounded from for gluing Tino's phone? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, that bitch. Uh, that bit ruined my phone. And, you know, most people would be having shit fits over something like that. We, like, literally left our asses off quite a few times. Uh, because after that, the cell went up on blue. <laughs> Cindy even pointed that out. They said, what did you do? I said, well, I ruined my phone. I ruined my phone forever. I ruined my phone forever. It's great. It's great. Trying to see if you can tell how the pink opalescence to that because it is so subtle. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid they're gonna think it's that, you know, like a milky white. Mm -hmm. That pink hues it's there. This is very close to opal, but it's pink. It's light pink. You have to see it in person. If you can cast a glimpse of the pink tone through camera. Dude. Yeah, I'm just doing a simple cuticle. That's it. Simple cuticle. Actually, let's add more right here. Okay. I don't know why I'm using the katana when I can use the liner brush. Oh. Lana bro is easier. Sometimes grabbing the right tool will also increase the, the time. But I will say not changing tools also will show a, 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 an excitement towards your, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you get so caught up, you're just like, oh, I just... You're like, it. maybe I can do it with this. After everything is done. Tattoo connect. Oh. Now I go ahead and okay. readjust everything. Just to make sure everything is nice and neat before I cure. I forgot about this pencil thing. I wish I would have. Life is so much better now. Better now? Yeah. I'm cure this. I mean, it wasn't bad. You can flash cure it too. Okay. Oh, shit, with this thing, I can move quick. Tell them they can ask all the damn questions they want as fast as they want now. Oh, you can ask any question you like because it doesn't just discover something that I'm, I okay. didn't pay attention to, but... A pencil. A pencil. Doesn't you discover the pencil? You yeah, ask anything I grew, you like. I grew up with damn pencil. Go crazy on the question. Yes. Yeah, they even had a pencil collection and everything. Ooh. Jeez. Now see, if they could see us, they'd know what the hell we were talking about. Now we're back to being sad. Oh, what an emotional roller coaster this is today. It stopped working? No, it didn't stop working. What I'm saying is now I remember that they would see us over here and what we were doing. Oh, yeah, now, they but they see, don't. They don't see the extra. As a matter of fact, they don't even see their, our sarcasm anymore. So we, 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 we probably, not saying we will, but probably you. should focus on what we're saying a little bit, too. Because like, truly, I just let shit fall out of my mouth in the hopes that they see I'm smiling and know it wasn't serious. Oh, I gotta but have some... So often, people get You're hurt. right. I gotta have some filter, too. Right, right. Matter of fact, my God. What do, what do we get filters? Um, usually, you download an app. But I love that combo. Also, this right here is a killer combo, you got It will make your client hot and melt it, and money just fall out of her purse. <coughs> it ran on Amazon. Yes. I 
really do love that matted chrome look. You do? I do. It it's so elegant, like, texture. so classy. It's made me feel so classy. Oh my God. Maybe it should go judge tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Good church. I feel so classy now. Do you know today's Tuesday? Today? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Church is like last Sunday, isn't it? Oh, I miss it again. No, you can go to church any day you want. Oh. I only want to go on Sunday because that's when it's popular. All the popular kids were on Sunday. All the popular kids go on Sunday? Yeah. All the housewife and all the uh, golf playing husband, you know, all, all the popular kids in town. Golf playing husbands? Yeah. All the desperate housewives. They all come come by to do their little gossip. We're going to buy an electric bike, aren't we? I'm going to show up in a red, red suit. I'm going to show up to judge in a big hat. In a red suit? Yeah. You look like a big I'm, hat. I'm make sure it's gigantic. Big, big red hat. Make sure everybody's sad it when they walk in, too. Are you going to wear nails? Probably too you, much. Too much? Probably too much for church. I wouldn't do it on a first date. <laughs> Your first date with church? Yeah. <laughs> I have been waiting to go to church forever. I always miss it. I haven't uh, have been missed it for like 30 years. I always miss it. Honey, how could you miss it for 30 years when you're only 21? Oh, I know, right? Gosh. Do you hear our dogs in the background? Oh, I just realized this thing was froze up. Oops, I've probably been talking about all sorts of stuff. I've been watching you drawing. My so, God, it is like beautiful. So beyond word. Please, please explain the difference of fairy gel and gel paints. Are they the same? No, fairy gel is much thinner than gel paint. Gel pen is thicker than fairy gel. Fairy gel is super cell level, not like gel pen, slower. Uh, gel pen is cell level slower, but fairy gel is level very fast. You put it on, it's smooth right away. It's very easy to ombre because it's actually it's a powder. It's like a powder gel. If you brush it thin enough, you see a little powder in it. It helps you ombre very good. So, Glow in the dark. So you might want to... Let them know that we haven't accidentally been reading comments for the last five minutes. It was glitched out. So if they had questions and we didn't seem like we were answering them, they might want to re-ask them. Mm -hmm. Somehow when I connected that pencil, did it? Mm -hmm. And then I got to watching you and you know how well I do when I'm looking at you. Uh, yes, very gel glow in the dark too. Just convenience. Fair gel is what I use on the first layers a lot with cartoon. When I have to deal with cartoon, I use fair gel. Because um, when I first started painting, I always have a set of neon colors. I always have to have neon. Doesn't matter what I do, I, I always need seven different color neon. All neon, that's what I need. Um, for whatever effect that I use, it's like a must have for me. So, um, instead of making seven different gel polish, neon gel polish, I might, uh, I might neon gel paint, but I want it to be super cell level. That's, that's when I come out with a fairy gel. Instead of gel polish, then you can use it for line work too, except for it's not really big on line work. It's more in filling. And I mean, you can do line, but for you to do detail line, you still need uh, art gel to do like super, super detail hairline. Um, so fairy gel, it's just a little better than polish because polish, all you do is you just fill in. Where fairy gel, you can do art too. You can do line work with it. What's the difference between a top coat that turns blue inside the lamp and one that does not turn blue? Okay. So that have to do with an ingredient in it. It's supposedly for it to be um, non-yellowing, like let like my shine it. It have um, it have that ingredient in it, and 
for it to glow blue to me it served me a huge purpose because whenever i use it let me see where my glue is whenever i use it to check out if i have successfully sealed the edge of my stone i need that kind of gel because i can see it under ultraviolet light yes it was number 14 stained glass yes and most uh, often it's have something to do with either it is a hot gel or sub gel number 14. Mm -hmm. i um uh, my first gel that top coat that i use is a sealer gel it's only for acrylic and it's glow really really blue most hot gel have a uh, this kind of light that reflects it. Hard gel? Mm hmm Hard gel. Some hard gel couldn't uh, be soaked up by Aston. Mine can. I can soak mine up by Aston. We put everything back. All right, you guys. This is our lesson for tonight. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is an angel heavenly set. Mm hmm what should I call it, Dustin? I don't know. Cupid Crush? Love Crush. Oh, so beautiful. I'm so glad I did share. Thank you, Chiki, for reminding me. How do I know which one to buy that will be blue? Oh, that will be, be blue? Buy Shandit. Oh, how do you know for other brand? I don't know. Some brand have it and some brand not. Um, mine does. This glow light blue. And this was actually a pretty good idea for risque. What's that? Uh, um, a design uh, using home record red velvet crush type bondage nail set with change and such. Something really sexy like that. Change dangling and shit. I got it. Got <laughs> it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Thank you. Thank you for inspiring me. I like it a lot. Uh, do you do acrylic or just tips? Yes. Yes, I do acrylic. And actually, too. everything you'll see works on acrylic also always. Yes. Um, even a manicure, really. Uh, even a short manicure because I teach proportion. I don't teach proportion with this lesson because it's really just wiggle. Um. Oh, that's actually a great name. Hello, Cupid. <laughs> so, so right now I am going to go over this on a piece of paper. So, first you have to know that it have a upper body. Okay, so this is its upper body. Ooh, cute okay, and then of course it's jumpy. So from here it's curved, and then it curved all the way in. Okay. So from here to here, that is upper body, and then it do a little curve. So you want the leg to be right here. So from here, you start curving. That is little butt right here, and it going all the way out. See that? So from here, the leg stop because it's short, tiny little leg. So the leg stop, and then it bend a little bit, and then from here it go out just a little and go in. So that is little leg it can be bigger too. And then you draw curve out, give it a little heel, and right here give it a little bit of heel too. You can give it a little toe if you want, depend on you. Up here, see this line is go all the way out, just like this. Go all the way out. This curve in. This is the end of the leg. Okay, and this do another curve, smaller down here. So for the head, this is when you should do a little circle and then draw in the hair. We well, just made that look really good. For easy this, too. see that the head, just yeah. a little circle and the hair, and then you can just do a little eyes and little mouth. Don't take it too seriously. Here. Where the shoulder is, go straight down and then you go up. Don't even bother on the hand. Here, you go out. That's it. That's a little ball is holding, a little string. And then the, the, the wing is easy. The wing is easy. Curve, curve, curve.
curve, like a triangle, okay? Curve here and go in to this, to this point. There you cube it. Damn, slow down a little bit, shit. Okay. And that brings you this. And that brings you this. Beautiful cupid. Beautiful, beautiful cupid set. And like you said, don't worry about making it look good. Or what you say? Don't worry about don't worry. it. No, no, don't, don't go too detailed. Don't be too detailed. Just this emotion this down. is up. Yeah. It's all wiggle wiggle. 3D jelly. It's really pop whenever the 3D jelly on. The first two layer, if you don't, uh, if you don't, um, not familiar with the process, it will shock you because the first two layer it still look very flat. So a person that doesn't know the process, they be like, "Oh, this is ugly. It doesn't look like it." But <laughs> after the first two layer, then you use three D jelly, it pop right away. When you crumb it, it, it totally pop. It become three D, three dimensional. Same with this frame right here. So don't be too detailed. Just know your layer. Understood your layers. Yeah. Like a fat George Washington. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. And that uh, will bring What was the that? gold you used? Uh, no, this is not a gold. Yeah, this good. is a bronze. So this is bronze chrome. This is my gold chrome right here. My gold side chrome. This is bronze chrome. I do love this color too. I love this color. I love my gold always. My gold always the, the hardest selling chrome out of all the color chrome. But the bronze is second after it. It's beautiful. Everybody loves the bronze chrome. All right, you guys. Hmm. This is it. I will post this tomorrow. I will post this live tomorrow. At, uh, I will say about 1, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Uh -huh. 1 p.m. I might post it earlier. Maybe earlier. You are welcome. We're not done with one time yet. However, we are close. Uh, I will keep that bonded set in mind. Cause I really want to do another risky set. Since my last risky set, it have come with great reward. Um, it's at 15,000 likes right now. So people love... Now, actually, it's worth more, actually, not 15,000. I don't know. Um, but uh, so I'm ready for another risky set. Hmm. But my last risk is going to do pretty good. Let me see. Hmm? 15,000, right? Right on. Hmm. 15,000 likes on the uh, Valentine. Right here. I'm ready for another one. Not the kinky hmm. set. Uh, and then we're done. Because that's the only time of the year where we get to get away with it. Hmm. Every other season, we cannot do kinky uh, set. Because then we couldn't get away with it. But Valentine probably totally a season for it. Valentine is a season to be naughty. And then naughty. when it comes to fall twenty in April, we got a chance to be pothead oh, freely. Pot now freely. So I can't wait for all that, you guys. My pot now have been doing excellent every single year. It have been making massive hit. Especially the glow technique. I have tackled that big time. Um, when the time comes. When uh, is what, the next what? live? The next live will be Wednesday. Halloween. Um, yes, Halloween is gory. Gory, yeah. Uh, Jiggy wants to know if you could draw a broke heart on paper. And then somebody was asking... A about what product do you use underneath the bronze? Like what product do I use underneath the bronze? Uh, I use art gel. This is a gel that I use. I use white art gel. I use um actually I use white art gel, black art gel, and I mix black and orange to make uh, uh like a tan. So all of art gel you can adhere chrome with it. If Nicole were watching it because she had questions about Chrome the other day. Okay, and Jakey said to draw the Baroque heart. Um, Baroque heart, as I say. Actually, I'll take a new one. Okay. Coco Bunny. From here, 
how. But of course, you touch it lightly, you press, and then you lift again. Like this. And then again, in here. But again, you stroke, you touch just the tip of your brush, and then you start pressing, and then you start lifting your brush. So see, it's a baroque stroke, it's a deep, deep press, and then lift. So it's a pressure base here, deep, deep press, and then lift the brush. Same right here. And then you can either leave it like this, or you can fill in using multiple different baroque strokes. You can fill into your, right here. Mm, yeah. Can gel art paints be stored on their sides? What now? Can gel art paints be stored on their sides? That you meaning they want to sell it? No, no, no. She want to store it, put it on its side to keep it. Yes. Can be stored on the side. Anyway, so uh, the Baroque stroke mainly around the heart, and then you can feel the heart in. Mm. All right, everyone. Time to go, because Tino is looking mm -hmm. in pain. Okay. We need to stretch him out a little bit. All right, I'll be on Wednesday. See you guys later. Uh, no, Thursday or Wednesday. Ah, uh, Thursday, Thursday. Thursday. Say bye yeah. Thursday. Bye-bye, everyone. Love, peace, and happiness. Broken heart now. Yes, yes, yes. That, too. I'm going to do broken heart now, too. All right, everyone. I will see you guys later. All right, Tina. Or Tony. You guys have to do this. Remember, I have to do this because this is good for business. See, it's something you can make a lot of money on. Just a background. You don't even have to get to the design. So the background alone. Uh, last today. question. Would you say say Baroque needs to be a symmetrical design? Not necessary. As long as you complete as long as you successfully have a a thick body and the thin tail and it's it's like a comma, a sway, you're good on Baroque. It can be however you want, how you can fit all the detail in. It can be random. At long as each stroke count. Each stroke has to be like a baroque. Baroque it just seems like a stroke. Alright, you guys. See you guys later. See you guys on uh, Thursday. See you guys on Thursday for another lesson. And I'm going to do two more Thursday. Bye-bye, you guys. And I will post this tomorrow.